so I'm at Mount Nebo. This is the site where Moses, after he'd wandered through the wilderness for 40 years, came and saw the promised land and promptly died. So his uh, tomb is supposed to be up here somewhere. Okay. Mm -hmm. And here is written, may God bless all the friends, those friends who took part in developing this place. So what we see when we come to Mount Nebo is the Basilica. The Basilica is an active church and it has the most amazing mosaics and uh, furniture architecture in it. Um, and there's the, the vista, the view. These are some of the mosaics, but these are the outside ones. So the ones inside the building are just phenomenal. So behind me is an Abu Dam and what this was was a stone rolled in front of the door to fortify a Byzantine monastery. And you saw the size of that little girl so it gives you some perspective of how big this stone is. So as I say this is an active church so once you get inside you'll actually see how absolutely beautiful it is and how the <coughs> mosaics have been incorporated into the architecture of the building. So this sculpture behind me is a representation of Moses rising to heaven with the um, eternal serpent rising him into the arms of God. So behind me in the haze is uh, Bethlehem and uh, Hebron. So on a clear day you can actually see right over into the Israeli territories. Once again, Jordan's given us a hazy, lazy day. It's a Friday, so uh, a lot of people are on a day off. So that's why there's a lot of people here other than just tourists. There's a lot of locals. So as we walk into the church, you'll find that on this um, outer wall is the most beautiful lead light. So uh, the sun behind it's not going to be too brilliant today, so you might not see it in its ultimate glory, but it's actually a very beautiful um, lead light. Actually, it's surprisingly uh, brighter than I thought it was going to be. It's just the most beautiful lead light on the outside of the building here. So everything is just so intact and there's a baptismal font and around the walls are even more mosaics.
in the foundations of the building, they've actually kept the um, mosaics so you can actually see them within the public space. Just a beautiful example of the basilica. such a religious site and for such a busy site it's actually really quite quiet so that was really quite good it's a very important location to all three religions Muslims, Christians and Jews so there's a small museum and it has the history of the location it has artefacts from um, Stone Age and from all around the region, Byzantine jars, there's dioramas of the hill and what it would have looked like. Iron Age and Stone Age, all from this region. Here are some of my favourites. I just love the oil lamps. Just the everyday, everyday art, and you just have great majesty about them. Dioramas are quite impressive. Description of the memorial to Moses. So where we've just been into that basilica. Mosaic floor, probably the second half of the 4th century. Christians in the region of Madaba constructed a memorial church in honour of Moses. A Greek inscription from the church. Other churches of the region are Greek, so the usual inscriptions are that of the Byzantine epoch in the sacred edifices of Mount Nebo. For the salvation and the offering of Matrona. Is what that one reads? You'll see before it, the church was placed over the top of the basilica. There of the papal visit in 2000. As I say, it's only a small museum, but it's very, very good. So, thanks to the Franciscans, this is actually a really, really good uh, tourist attraction, a religious tourist attraction. It's neat, it's clean, it's tidy, lots of uh, information, and it's an active church, as I said, and we saw them worshipping there at that front altar. <laughs>